So what we're going to make now is a chocolate mousse in the shape of a walnut on a walnut biscuit uh, base. To start with, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to make a, a silicon mold to replicate a walnut. So uh, first off, we, we, take, we take some walnuts. Um, we just need to make sure there's no holes because sometimes a walnut can have, have little holes where the silicon will flow through it. So uh, I've got two that I've selected here. I'm, I'm now going to fasten them into a, into a plastic tub. So I'm just going to um, put a blob of uh, hot glue on the bottom. I'm then going to turn this over and place inside uh, the Tupperware. So I'm going to put two walnuts into this one mould. So I'll put the hot glue uh, same as the first one. I'm going to place it inside and leave a slight gap between the two, like so. I'm using a food grade silicon. For this particular mould I'm going to need about 150 grams. So I'm using a 30 sure here, sometimes I might use 20. So we have the, the liquid in one tin and we have a second liquid in another tin which is a catalyst. So we add a small percentage of catalyst to the silicon which will help it to cure. So this is about a six hour cure time. So we're going to zero the scales and we're going to weigh in there. I'm going to weigh a little bit more than I need. So that's actually it's 190 grams. So I'm going to add 10% catalyst to this. So that's 19 grams of catalyst. And that's just poured straight on top. Okay. So that's 19 grams of the catalyst. So once that's mixed through, we're going to pour. Now, as I start to pour, I'm not going to touch the walnut. I'm going to go from the bottom upwards. So I'm going to pour it down into the corner. And I'm going to pour it from a height. So it creates a stream of silicon. It's quite fluid, so it will flow around the walnut from the bottom upwards if I keep going to the same place. So um, depending on the silicon you've used, depending on the amount of catalyst you've used, I've u I used 10%. Uh, uh, this is going to take, yeah, about six hours. So we can just use a palette knife just to down the, around the side, just to coax it out. There we go. And we want to cut four lines following the shape of the walnut. This will help it to release and to come away. There's one walnut, one walnut out. So I'll release the walnut out. So this is now, uh, we'll put to one side, and this is ready now to fill with a chocolate mousse. And I'll show you how we're gonna make the chocolate mousse. So we're gonna start by making a, a ganache which is again a tempered ganache. So we've got tempered milk chocolate and we're going to pour in um, the same temperature cream. That goes in and we, we need to stir straight away and we create an emulsion between the two. So at this point now, it's just mixing through like so. I'm going to, I'm going to tip in some, uh, some ground walnuts. They're going to get thrown in and stirred through as well. And the, the last thing I'm going to do now to turn it from being just a ganache into an actual cream or moussey type texture is I'm going to fold through some uh, pre-whipped cream. So whipping cream. Three, three quarter whipped. So it's got some air, air in it, but it's not over whipped. That's going to go in here. I'm just going to start to just fold that through nice and gently because we don't want to knock the air out that we've, uh, that we've created in that cream. We can then put that into a piping bag. I'm going to pipe a little bit in at first. We can sit the bag on itself for a moment. And we're just going to tap the first bit. So we're going to tap it um, on every side. So one side, second, third, fourth. And this is just to make sure that it's, that it's fully mixed into each side so that we don't get any air bubbles. And now we can fill the mold completely. And this can go into the freezer um, overnight. So now I'm going to talk you through um, how I've, I've, I've already pre-made the biscuit for it. I'm just going to talk you through it. Uh, it's a real straightforward uh, recipe, equal quantities of butter, flour, sugar and uh, ground powder. So we're using a walnut powder to give it a nice kind of walnuty biscuit. So that's then placed onto, so mixed together, it's an all-in method. Um, so just beaten together, then placed onto cling film, wrapped and refrigerated. You know, four hours in the fridge or, or overnight. Come to it the next day, you can then roll this out between silpat, two sheets of silpat to, to the required thickness. 
uh, take the top piece of silpat off and then uh, uh, bake 160 degrees around 20 minutes depending on your oven. When it comes out of the oven like this, while it's still hot, I tend to sprinkle with a my cryo. This is a powdered cocoa butter from Calibo. Um, what this will do is it will give me a film of, uh, of clear, uh, non-tasting um, fat. So if I put anything soft onto here, it's not going to absorb into it too quick. So it's giving that kind of fat barrier. Um, so it just means it'll stay crispy and crunchier a little bit longer. So once it's out of the oven, you've put the microwave over, it's cooled. I can then use some rods and a, and a knife chopping board and cut it into the desired sizes that we'd like. So for this particular product, just small kind of bite size, ready for a, a small chocolate mousse with the hair walnut uh, placed on top. But this can now be placed onto the biscuit. So there we have the Java chocolate walnut mousses.